Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm going to do a series of AccuQuilt die cutting system videos. I have been asked to do some of these videos, so I am going to do that for you. This video, we're going to be doing part one, talking about the different types of machines. <laughs> going to talk about the different types of die cutting machines that are available. AccuQuilt at this time sells four different die cutting machines. I have them all four here for you. And the first one here is the Go Me. It's right here. And then next up in size is the Go. <laughs> and then back here I have the Go Big. And then the last machine that they have is the Studio 2. And I'll explain why this machine is called Studio 2 when we get there. So first thing I'm going to do is clear the table of the machines. And we're going to talk about each machine one by one. So here we have the Go Me machine. And the Go Me is a nice machine that's portable that you can take with you when you go places. And the actual flaps open out so that you can run your dies through the machine. You have a handle here that you turn that can turn the die either way. So you can roll in from the left, turning right, or you can roll in from the right, turning left. So you can go into the machine either direction. This machine is the smallest machine and it can only take dies up to six inches wide. And I will get a die just to show you that. So here I have a six by six die and it goes through the machine this way. And also it would take a six by 12 and or a 5 by 10 die. So you can use dies that are up to 6 by 12. Or not actually 6 by 12 because they have long dies also that are 24 inches that also will that are 6 inches wide that you can also use here. And I think the pineapple die is one of them that you can use with this machine. So the Limitation is not length based, it's actually width based. So we're going to go ahead and move this one out and we're going to go to machine number two. Next up we have machine number two and machine number two is the Go. It is the second smallest machine that's available. It takes dies up to 10 inches wide. It also opens out. You have a nice carrying carrying handle. It's a little bit heavier, of course, than your Go Me. So you've got additional weight. And you also still have a turning handle that goes both directions. Again, if you insert the die to the left, right, you're just turning your handle to the right. And if you're entering from the right to the left, you're just turning your handle to the left. So uh, basically very similar to the Go Me, just in a larger format and for you to see what die it takes I've got this die here called Wonky Heart and it will go into this machine as like so. I'm not going to send this through because I still have the packaging on it and I don't want the, the die to start trying to cut. But also note that when you buy dies on the packaging, it lets you know what machine will take this. It's saying that it will work in a go and a go big. Also, anything that works in any of your go 
Systems also works on your studio die cutter and we'll talk about that when we get to that machine as well. So again, you don't have any length limitations. You can actually use your strip dies on here as well. Um, you can cut wider strips like for your Go Me. You don't have as many strip options that you can choose from. But on the Go, the regular Go, you do have a lot more strip options that you can purchase to use with this machine. So an, one of the downfalls for having the Go Me is that you're limited in the dies that you can use. So keep that in mind as well. So that's what's going on with the Go. Next up is the AccuQuote Go Big die cutting machine. And this is the largest of the actual Go family. So you have a small, medium, and a large die cutting system. What's neat about this system is that it is also electronic. And you have a power cord that plugs in here. This machine also has a carrying handle. So it's uh, portable. It is heavier, again, than the other machines. You would be expecting that because it is a larger machine. And then what you do with this model is you lay it on its side. And you are going to open this up. So, trying to make sure I don't squash the cord here. All right. So I have turned the machine around. You can see the bigger base here. And your dies actually only go in one way. You can see by the arrows here. Maybe you can't see those because they're kind of in the shadow here. But in the arrows will dictate to you which way your dies go in. So your dies are going to go in this way only. They do not come from the back forward. Also on this machine you have a power button here and you can see that it turned green here so it's ready for me to use uh, die cutting for that also if this light is red or blinking most times if you cut the machine off cut it back on it will clear itself if that doesn't work then you want to cut this power button off and then just hold this power button in and then it'll start flashing and then it should clear itself. You're resetting. You're doing like a hard reset. But as long as it's green, you're okay. So, now that I've shown you all of the Go die cutting machines, I want to now talk about the difference between it and the Studio. One of those differences is that the Go machine takes six layers of fabric, or up to six layers of fabric. When they're saying six layers of fabric, they're referring to six layers of quilting cotton. And sometimes when you get a new die, you may want to cut less layers until you break the die blades in so that they get the cushion on your board to get smashed a little bit. Also, each die cutting system comes with a different die. And I'm not going to put what comes with each machine because AccuQuilt changes that. They change their machines, they change what comes with it, so I don't want to tell you what's going to come with it. They also have bundles, so if you think you're going to really love this, I would recommend getting like the ultimate bundle because you get everything you want at a discounted price. And you can also sometimes buy the bundles when they, they're already discounted in price, and then if they have a sale, you can also use coupon codes to buy this as well. And one thing I do want to throw in is that this video is not sponsored by AccuQuilt, although I am an AccuQuilt affiliate. And that means that if you purchase anything using the link that I have in my description box, I receive a percentage of your sale. So please, if you're purchasing anything from AccuQuilt ever, you can do it every time. It doesn't reduce any of your coupons or discount codes. Um, so I would appreciate you doing that for me referring you to the system and showing you how to use it. So we're going to go ahead and slide this machine out the way and we're going to talk about cutting mats. 
Now, when you get a machine, they will give you one die and they'll give you one cutting mat. So if you purchase the Go Me, they'll give you two three inch finished half square triangle and three inch finished quarter square triangle. That's what they're currently doing today. They will also give you the six inch mat. So you would also get that included in your purchase. But they have additional mats. So when you're buying larger dies, you need to also purchase larger mats. I'm going to be showing you how to cut. Sometimes you're going to be using the full cut of your mat. Other times you may not even be using the full die. So there's no need to use the full mat. But we'll be talking about that in another video. But I just wanted to let you know that you have mats that are specifically made for your go this is what you should be using if you are cutting go dies in a go machine that's the recommended we're going to get to the studio and a lot of those rules are going to change okay so just keep that in mind so we're going to pull the studio system over so we can talk about the final machine so next up we have our AccuQuilt studio die cutting system this is actually called a studio 2 as you can see anytime you see a studio with the arms up that means that it has either been purchased as a studio 2 or converted from a studio 1 to a studio 2 which is what I have you can't tell the difference because they send you the same decals uh, to put on your 2 as what's currently coming out when you purchase it the one did not have these levers to let the arms down. So the machine constantly stayed in this position. The two makes it so that it's easier for you to store your machine when you're done. So that's why this is called a Studio 2. I also made a cover with this. I used a video. Uh, I did make a video from it. And I tell you that I got it from another YouTuber that I saw do it. And I just did mine slightly different. But I will try to link that video also up at the eye above. Now you can see the studio has rollers. There are movable rollers here. And the same thing on this side. It also has a handle. People ask, why buy a Studio 2 when I can buy the Go Big Electric? Or the Go, since this is a manual turning handle, they could buy the Go. The uh, Go Electric is good for people that might have arthritis and you can't turn. It's uh, To me, this is like churning butter compared to the Go. It, this roller is a lot easier to roll. It's a lot bigger. And then the die boards that go for this machine is also bigger as well. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. <laughs> but that's why I would buy it is because it's a difference in churning butter over turning something that's very difficult to turn. Your studio is going to need a die tray. They come in two sizes. This is the smallest one. And I'm just going to guess and say that this is about 15 inches wide by 19 inches and I also have a tray that will fit the long die boards as well like your strip dies or any other dies that are long boards they will also fit into this system you have a second tray it comes with this small tray and you have to purchase your larger tray again when you purchase your larger tray always remember that you also need to purchase your cutting mats okay so that's important too so the difference in cutting for the studio 2 over any of the go products is that the go products cut six layers if you're cutting a studio 2 die you can cut 10 layers on this system up to 10 layers now if you're using a go die on this system you're still limited to the six layers you're limited by your die board not by your cutting machine so you can use go dies on your studio but you cannot use studio dies in your go so we're going to start off showing you a studio die your studio dies are going to have a brown wood face look to them and your go dies are always going to have a green plastic face board to them 
when we put this in the tray with a cutting mat, which is different, it's a cutting plastic, it's a little bit different. We can then cut how many ever layers of fabric we have underneath this die. Again, remember when I was saying if you were only cutting, say I only needed four squares, I don't need all 16 of these squares that are marked here. I can just put this die slightly over the cutting mat, go ahead and roll that through, and I would only be cutting this. Now, if I want to cover the entire die board, I need to get a bigger mat to do that. I could use this board here that's open, but it's a little bit longer. AccuQuilt don't recommend using mats that are bigger than your die board. But they do have die boards, I mean your cutting plastic that is suited for those die boards. And here I brought this one because I wanted to show you a new one that I haven't opened yet. When you get this, you want to make sure that you peel off the coating that's on both sides of the die because if you cut with this on your die your die is going to cut into this and then when it's time for you to take it off when you realize you should take it off you've got to peel off whatever it is that you've cut and it could be a million pieces by the time you realize you should have pulled it off so this piece is on both sides of this cutting plastic so make sure you remove that on both sides as I mentioned earlier, you can also cut the gold dies on this system as well. When you put it into the tray, you are going to have to use an adapter plate. They have four different sizes of adapter plates. This is one of the old ones that they made to work with the medium to small dies. And then they also made one the size of your long mats. So you would push it into the corner here like so and then when you're cutting a gold die on the studio you always use the studio mats. So I don't have every mat in here with me. I do have every size but then you would just run this through using that mat. Never use the go mat with the studio system. You're going to use the studio mat with the studio system so I want to show you they upgraded they used to only have this size and the size of the large strip die in your adapter boards and they always to me were difficult or cumbersome to use because the board kept moving around in the tray so they've come up with the go adapter plates now that fit closer to the sides of the tray. I like that. It gives you room down here so you can get your hand in here to get it out when you're finished. So now I put my go die on here. I can put it anywhere. I don't have to worry about getting it into a corner because it's not going to slide as much. And then I can now just go ahead and run that die through. Okay. So you would be cutting your pieces. Okay. So I am not cutting in this particular video because I feel like you're not going to see the difference in the handle, how I'm using the handles. But what I am going to do is I'm going to do some videos on how to cut with your die cutting system. So those will be videos coming up and uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned to this series. And I just wanted to first tell you what machines they had and what they do because people have been asking me about that. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends. And I'll see you in my next video.